Hello everybody and welcome to our tutorial on how to install Cabinet Vision with Barker Cabinets Catalog. Okay, What I've done already is get started by uh, downloading our uh, file from our website here. You can see uh, it says uh, SE Setup English, so it's basically uh, Solid Essential with our logo on it. Okay, so basically what we want to do is download it right to your desktop. Just double click on it. Okay, so a couple things to look at. There's two things you need to look at. First of all, do not install this program if you already have Cabinet Vision on your computer. That means if you're a, a cabinet shop, you already have it and you're using it for uh, various uh, you know, projects, uh, this is going to overwrite it, so don't do that. Uh, we're not responsible if it does overwrite it, so uh, please make sure you either uninstall it or you're aware of the consequences. Okay, next thing to do. This is a trial version of Cabinet Vision, so that means you're going to have to sign up uh, you know, give your email address to Cabinet Vision uh, to get this 30-day free trial. Uh, now we've done everything else as far as all the programs and components in this thing, so uh, you do have to register with them. It's amazing software. Highly recommend doing it. Uh, use it for 30 days for free, and then if you like it and it's awesome, and you're a designer, you're a small cabinet shop, I'd highly recommend just buying the full package. Um, you know, it's very powerful software. Okay. Let's accept terms here. Done that. Install right to the default directory and enjoy the software. Do not change anything here. Just push install and it's going to do everything for you. This package is extremely simple uh, to install. So we're going to let it install and extract. It's going to take a minute. All right, so it's done that. Now what it's going to do is come up with a user account control, most likely if it's on Windows uh, XP or Windows 7, which this one is, Windows 7. Say yes, and it's going to open up uh, the installation program here. You're going to have to select your language. Most likely English is going to be the only language available for this. Push continue. And it's going to go through its uh, setup package now. So it's going to start extracting even more and getting everything all put into the system where it needs to be. OK, so just push next. You're going to have to agree to the license agreement and install to the default directory. And that's pretty much it. So it's going to install the rest of it. It's going to take a few minutes depending on how fast your machine is. And uh, we'll come back. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So it's installed. It's going to say it's installed successfully. Uh, click Finish. And it drops you back down there. And you're going to notice a brand new icon right here on your screen. And we're going to double click on Solid Essential 8.0. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring us up a product license window. Now, this is what I was talking about when you had to go over and sign up with Cabinet Vision. What you're going to want to do is most likely push the trial button. You push that, and it's going to launch. Uh, it's going to launch your window, where basically you'd, you'd input your, your name, your email address, you know, confirm it, uh, and then basically push continue, and what it'll do is it'll email you a code um, that you can input into Cabinet Vision. So if you already have the code, uh, let's see here, t -t -t say OK there. Uh, you should, if you already have a code, you should be able to push OK. And basically it should launch and do all of your updates, like you see here. Basically, what it's doing here is it's basically compacting all of your uh, all of the catalogs we put in there, and making it so that it all works correctly. All right, so there you go. So it opens up, and basically the next thing you want to do is go over here to Utilities, and you are going to go to Authorization Code. So click Authorization Code, input the authorization code as you want into this, and that's pretty much it. So one second, we'll enter the authorization. So put your authorization code in, and then click OK. And that's pretty much it. So now you have, you've entered the authorization code. It'll tell you if it didn't work. Uh, what you can do now is start up a new job. So push this little uh, piece of paper up here at the top left corner. And you're going to want to go through and basically input most of your stuff. Now I've already made the defaults on everything like there, on everything that comes with a package um, with all of our defaults. So it's going to erase pretty much every other default you have or, or had on your system. Uh, so everything's going to be set up for Alder, uh, Shaker. And you're going to kind of go through it. Everything's all set up. Push OK once you've uh, selected everything. And to really get started real quick, um, what I'll do, just as a little bit of a bonus here, is I'm just going to throw a couple of uh, cabinets on the wall. So we got a wall. I drew, I drew that from right here, this piece. So you just click it, and then click again, and you can draw your wall. It's pretty easy. Let's make an L-shaped uh, piece real, real quick for a little bit of fun. So there's an L-shaped kitchen sort of deal. Next thing we want to do is just go into Custom Cabinets, click on Base Cabinets, and let's just say you want a sink cabinet. Put that one on there. Uh, let's get a couple of two-door base cabinets. Uh, how about a base 90? So the cool thing about our program here is that you can really lay out a whole bunch of different cool stuff. 
And what I'm doing here is I'm just putting some random cabinets on here, and then I'm going to put a little 3D view for you. So I just put some base cabinets on this wall, and then I'm going up to a 3D view. Click on this little tab here. And I can, if I hold down by clicking, I can move this thing around in a circle and kind of move the room around as I want. Okay, pretty neat. I'm going to zoom in on this by, by using the mouse bar, or you can all, alternatively, you can go over here and just click um, a window. I like to use the mouse uh, uh, scroll bar or scroll, scroll button in the middle of the mouse. So, okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to do photo vision. Now, really cool for photo vision here, I got my cabinets set up right where I want them. Go up to this tab and click photo vision, and then go over here, the second one over and go all the way down to full architectural and this is the coolest one because it's got the most features on it okay so it's gonna be drawing a picture and the, the the awesome thing about this program is I haven't even adjusted the light and this is just the default everything so uh, everything's gonna be true to scale so these are actually our templates um, all of our uh, textures and stuff uh, that are added in there and as you can imagine you can really build a really nice kitchen you know straight out of the box I mean we're only 30 seconds into it here uh, and we already got our, our base cabinets on the wall. So you can put flooring down, you can put ceilings up here, and you can really visualize what you're doing with cabinet vision. So I highly recommend using this program. Um, and once, the, and the more you work with it, and the more you play around with it, the better you're going to be at it. Um, you know, with doing different, uh, uh, you know, different uh, aspects of the kitchen. So, uh, further questions, feel free to give us a call. We do have other tutorials available, and we'll be coming out with more very soon. Uh, that'll show you more about how to lay out kitchens with uh, cabinet vision. Uh, so have fun, enjoy the software, and let me know if you have any questions or emails. email me with any questions about um, uh, getting started. Thanks again. Have a great day.